Oh, Did, by the way, Perna. AFC a- West is a little hard to predict. The Raiders got a little lucky last year. Yeah. Everything going wrong and them somehow still making it to the playoffs. I think I it's between it. the Raiders and Broncos finishing last. What if Russell Wilson kind of sucks? He's not going to kind of suck. 103 passer rating. 25 what? touchdowns to six picks. How many touchdowns did you just say? 25. And we're saying that's good? He missed a few games. I think that there's some concern. Broncos are going to have the best running attack in the division. You think Austin Eckler is worse than Williams? Unlimited. It's a tough division. It's the easiest division I've ever seen in my life. Russell Wilson is going to win MVP, Super Bowl MVP. Comeback player of the year? What did he come back from? The Seahawks? Our bet is still on that the Packers go further than the Broncos, and I am going to enjoy a bronze statue of my likeness on your desk. We'll see. That's like the biggest bet I've ever won. That was like worse than any scooter bet. That was worse than, that was just a slam dunk. Slam dunk. Yeah, we'll get into this. The takes are are so, so ridiculous. I'm actually like, I want to get, so unfortunately, again, this is the second time that major news has broke right after we log off. Yeah, I need time to digest that shit. Yeah, so like, I actually want to hear your stance on it because there's so many things to now figure out because you had mentioned before this season that if Russell Wilson was the problem in Denver, I know it's going to cost a crap ton of money, but they would move on from him. You Mm -hmm. did a video about that as well, basically saying, listen, it is... Not great, but it is feasible that we could do it, right? We can move on. Now it's this weird situation in which when it was announced that he was getting benched, there was conflicting reports. It was over his play, then it was over his contract, and then it seems like now it's over his contract. And now then there apparently he knew this was coming, in which they they talked to him already, trying to like void those injury guarantees. And this is maybe to prevent him from being injured. So kind of after sitting with it for a little bit. Where are you now in like the benching of Russell Wilson? And we'll talk about where we think he's going to go. Look, I have said the whole time Jared Stidham's the answer. And the fact that it took this long to get to the Stids is the real tragedy. Um, that's it. That's I all I'm saying. Say. That, that like, uh, that's it. That's your like, no, it's weird, it. dude. Like, the, the information about Russ knowing since uh, October, of course, that came out right after. Uh, I I put up my video about the whole thing. Uh, so mm. I didn't even have that nugget for my my last video about Russell Wilson. Um, and so basically what the Broncos decided, which we talked about last year uh, after Hackett because of uh, my guy, Zach Seegers, who if you're a Broncos fan and you want somebody who looks at the, the nerd numbers and all that shit, follow Zach Seegers on Twitter. Uh, and and he's got good info. But he was the guy who put put up like how the Broncos could move on from Russell Wilson. And all they're doing is by designating him as a post June 1st cut this offseason, they spread his 80 mil, 80, 85 million dollar dead cap hit over the course of two seasons. If they don't do that, they got to eat it all in one offseason. And then if you're eating 85 million dead cap in one offseason, then you got to yeah. cut a bunch of dudes because you're basically yeah. you're paying two quarterback salaries while not having a quarterback, essentially. So that's why they're doing this. It is 100 percent a financial decision, and it's a financial decision because it's also a based on play uh, sure. performance like. Then I cut this part out of the video, and of course, this is one thing everybody said <laughs> in the video. It's like the trade for Russell Wilson wasn't as bad as the contract that the Broncos gave yes. him after he got here. Yes, which I liked the contract at the time too because I just thought Russell Wilson was a better overall quarterback than he he is. Um, and what he's getting paid, he has not lived up to those expectations. And then the third part of that is Sean Payton just do not give a fuck about Russ. No, he doesn't. Sean Payton goes to bed at night and he just dreams of different quarterbacks running his offense. Um, And people are saying like Sean Payton sabotaged him or the Broncos sabotaged him. None of that's true. Like if, if Russ was playing well, Sean would be cool with it. Like he may not love the, the, what was it? The, 
you got to stop kissing all the babies was his quote from the offseason. Yeah. He may not love like that part of the game, but Russ is he's done the things, at least like from the, the public facing perspective that I think Sean and the organization has wanted him to do uh, this season. It's 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 been a lot quieter. He's played better than he did last year. But like where where he needs to play the way Sean Payton wants to call an offense, Russ just can't do that. I think I think that the the game plan has been just simplified to a point where the offense is boring, it's predictable, and you're going to get those two to five really nice plays from Russ every game that sort of keeps you in it, and then there's just no passing game in the middle of the field. It's Russ looks where he wants to go first, decides it's not there, throws to the running back. And the running back's 90% of the time out in the flat. The other yeah. 5% of the time, it's the Maj P. Ryan sneaking through the middle and he dumps it off over the <laughs> middle. Yeah. And for a guy who's been in the league as long as Russ, like it's just you, you can't have that. If you were a rookie and he's making those yeah. – like, dude, this guy's got some upside. Wait till the next part of his game develops because sure. then he'll be unstoppable. But in year 12, it's just, you know, it's not the right fit. And I think there are a couple places where Russ does fit, where it does make sense, where you can win. Because when the Broncos run game was working this season, they won games. Uh, but, like, when that's not dynamic, it, they're just, for lack of better words, so limited so limited yeah i mean <clears throat> because now like the next step is like what happens to russell wilson yeah they're and just gonna release him in march yeah, he's just gonna get post June designation like when i started writing the video i thought there's still a chance that he might come back like you know a slim one now i think there's none zero like he's done there's he's no gone shot. he's moved on he's benched he ain't coming back from this he got the NFLPA involved with what they were asking him to do, uh, a whole bunch of shit. And they wanted him to remove his injury guarantee for the 2025 season. And he said no. Obviously. Like, why would he do that? Yeah, it makes no sense. Why would he I mean, say, yeah, I'll put $35 million up uh, yeah. in the air for, for grabs? I think it's also... Because people were talking about like, oh, like, you know, who's going to trade for him? I was like, nobody. No. Nobody. I said the Falcons should in my yeah. video, but that's but, because I think the Falcons uh, might be done, dumb enough to do it. But. <laughs> well, because it's and it's not necessarily the player because I'm yeah. sure Russell Wilson is going to go somewhere to get a to get looked at. Right. You know, so there are enough yeah. QB needy teams out there that could be like, yeah. you know what? We could use a Russell Wilson, even if it's to mentor the next guy, but not with that contract. Because like no. you said. Like the trade was bad, but it was the follow up of that major contract, so much guaranteed money. And then it's like, well, now crap. Yeah. Because we already, like, you already ate it for the, the trade and the draft picks and all that. But now it's like, all right, well, now things are going to get a little bit tight because of this, uh, these numbers here.